You are in the street, and I pass beside of you. What is your chance to know that I am a Syrian refugee? The first time I met my neighbor in Porto, when I lived in Porto before, we met in the elevator in the building. I holded the door for her, so she said, Obrigada, which means thank you, and I said, you are welcome. She knew I am not Portuguese, because I answered in English. And she asked me a very typical question, where are you from? And normally I like to send this question back and say, where do I look like from? And she said, Italian, Greece. To help her, I said, I'm not even from Europe. I'm from Middle East. She said Jordan, Lebanon, Palestine, Turkey. She said all the countries around Syria, but she didn't say Syria. And when I said, I'm Syrian, she was shocked. And she said, but you don't look like Syrian. <laughs> and I, I didn't know how Syrians look like, actually. So I said, no, I'm Syrian. Four years ago, I was in Turkey, before I come to Portugal. I was in Ankara. And I was in a situation like 100,000 of Syrian young refugees that we are searching for an opportunity to complete our education. I almost tried all the Arabian embassies, and there is no one door was open for me. Till one day, I received a call from Lisbon from a program platform called the Global Platform for Syrian Students. And it's a platform offering emergency scholarship for Syrian refugees who lost their chance to complete their education. It's Portugal. What I know about Portugal at that time was not that much. But I knew something. For sure, everybody knows who is Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> the best footballer, footballer in the history of football. Because I do architecture, so I know who is the master Alvaro Cisa Vieira. I like fashion, so I think I know Sara Sampaio. I don't know if the other Syrians know. <laughs> But that was not enough for me to say I will be fine or not. I still remember the, que the questions inside my mind when I was in the plane coming to Portugal, and I was always asking myself, how is my life going to be there? It's different culture, different way of living, different language. What kind of people the Portuguese people are, how they deal with foreigners. And there is one more question was more important what the Portuguese people are expect me to be. And I am an Arab, Muslim, and Syrian. This is very important nowadays. It was not hard to find out. When I arrived to Portugal, the most important thing I realized that people are very warm, and they really like to communicate with you. I was lucky to live in a residence in Evora City, which full of students, Portuguese and even international students. We were young people sharing our life together. And I start to receive a lot of questions, some of them funny, some of them weird. I still remember when I was in Bingo Dos for the first time, and a friend of mine was telling me, do you have Bingo Dos in Syria? You don't. <laughs> she didn't even give me a chance to say yes or no. And when I said no, she was not surprised, because she thought we live in a desert. And, and she said, oh, I knew. And I said, we have something else. We have other kind of supermarkets. <laughs> I remember once in the kitchen when I was cooking, and a friend of mine said, Oh, Noor, where is your spicy? And I was like, I should have spicy, why? <laughs> you are a Muslim. So what? Oh, we met an Indian Muslim. He eats spicy a lot. You should eat spicy. Even the way of my clothes, they say, How, do, do you wear like this in Syria? And I realized that people are always mixing between culture and religion. I realized that people, not only there is lack of information, there is lack of right information. So here, I think we need to really talk about a very interesting word called stereotype. Instead of opening Oxford Dictionary and searching for definition of stereotype, I will give you some examples so you understand more what does it mean stereotype for me. All the Muslims are terrorists. Men are smarter than women. Muslims women cannot drive a car. All Arab-skinned people 
or all white-skinned people are racist. Thinking about this sentence, we'll sort them in two different groups. The first group is that kind of stereotype which it is taken out of the context. For example, in some countries, men are smarter than women. True, but why? Because the women there didn't have the opportunities to learn, to do something. Other stereotypes were fake. For example, yes, some Muslims are terrorists, but you have a lot of Muslims are living around you here in Europe or even outside the Union. That they are integrating in the community. They are professors, doctors, engineers, and they share your values. One of the very interesting books for an Italian poet called Dante, called Divine Comedy. And this book is very interesting because it shows you how the writer was talking about stereotype. In the book, he was mentioning that Europe is like the center of the world, and everything else is something else. Also, he was mentioning that all the risk or the evil plans are always coming from East. And if you write or if you read like these books, you realize that the writers never went to East and never met any person from East. And everything they are writing about, it's because of stories they heard from here or there. In Evora, listening to these questions, I was in a place where I need to decide or to answer or to close the door of my room and say, I don't care. But the important thing that I had some stereotype about Europeans as well. And I realized that most of them were wrong. And I realized that Europeans taught me a lot of things and corrected a lot of wrong images about their culture, their way of living. So I felt it's my duty to correct that image of my people, of my culture, not only with Portuguese, with anyone who have wrong image about me. And that's what I started to do. I started to meet more people. I started to communicate with more people. We started to organize kind of conferences in schools, in universities. We start to contact the young people because they are the future. And you know, stereotype is, is very effective in our world nowadays. I'm a refugee and refugees crisis, it's because of stereotype. People are not helping because they are afraid of those people who know a lot of wrong stories about them. So communicating with those people showed me that the number of the participants was growing because people really wanted to know what is the truth. Nowadays, all of our informations are coming from the media, isn't it? Especially social media. Every one of us has Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And the thing is, on social media, there is no standards. You can write anything, and after two minutes, it's published, it's public. And it could be a resource without even checking if it's right, or wrong. That's why I think to fight stereotypes, we really need to focus on social media nowadays. When was the last time you opened your, a book to read? And when was the last time you opened your Facebook to see notifications? Yes. So, how we can face stereotypes? How we can create that kind of right information? It's very interesting for people to know that we are not similar. We are different. I knew that before I came to Europe, and I knew that more when I came to Europe. We are different, yes. Are we similar? Sometimes. But what I am sure that we complete each other. If we only think about these differences, that I cannot be perfect myself, but we can be perfect together. I'm coming from a culture which is absolutely different from any European culture. And I'm sure this European cultures are very different from mine, but I learned a lot here. Do you know what was the most important step I did? I just decided to be open, to listen to those people. Yes, it was annoying in the beginning when you hear a lot of wrong information about your culture, yourself, your religion. But what is important is what you will do after. It's that action you do to correct that image. 
Stereotype is something bad sometimes, but it's a very important chance to reach people. When someone is saying or telling you something about your culture, even if it's wrong or right, he give a hand to build a bridge, and now it's your turn to give the other hand. So you have your bridge between you and him, or to assure about this idea or to correct it. That's why I do believe that nowadays we really need to create healthy platforms just to people meet and talk and to discuss information about their own cultures together. You who can change this world, the stereotype is exist everywhere. It's not only about us, it's also about you. So you should be part of the solution too. Thank you a lot.